It's basically how this deck really survives. Yeah, the expansion is going to be called Duskwood. I wonder if I can get some art drawn up to make the Witchwood art actually just say Duskwood. Um, I am actually talking to one of my buddies to do a little bit of artwork to kind of to update uh, some of the things that I've done here on the channel to make them look a little bit more, uh, how do we say, not quite as garbage. Um, I just, I'm not artistic and stuff, so I put together what I could, but... I think it's fair to say we could get a little bit better here, so we're going to try and do that. And then maybe I'll see if we can get the Duskwood written up instead of Witchwood. That, that would be pretty fun. And then, uh, oh, Tonito, you're not alone with misplays with the Wild Pyromancer? Yeah, it's not an easy... It's not an easy thing if you're not fully paying attention. Hey, that's a scary secret, potentially. Inner... Snipage. No snipe. The power of uh, the power of Photoshop. Yeah, my my Photoshop skills are negligible. And as such, I have. Um... Okay, so we're gonna wait here. Oh, if we enter fire and attack, though, it's kind of good. Spell hunter's gonna hate Cho. Yeah, that's a good point. Why didn't we get this out? Okay, we need to get rid of this. Then we can. Yeah, we need to get rid of this, and then we can get the Lorewalker Cho out. Now, obviously, if our opponent has Barnes, we're in trouble. Like, if this is Barnes, we're in trouble. Oh, thank you. I guess. Oh, never mind. Um... I'll take an Elixir, I guess. I want more draw. I changed my mind. It's fine. If only we could get the power word shield out first. If we could get the power word shield out first to get rid of that. Oh, so good. It would be glorious. But actually, maybe we should have coined. Maybe we should have coined just to, to guarantee we get rid of it. Huh. I should have taken an extra second to think about that. Because if all that happens is a trade, we're totally fine. And if they want to go face, yeah, now we just feel great shame. Yeah, we should have just coined and just had them both go down. Yeah, this is this is honestly quite literally maybe why we lose the game right now. Like exactly this play. Uh, do we want to? I think we could afford to draw the pack right now. Then we radiant elemental it out next turn. Oh, there we go. We could get a big old yog if we survive until. Whenever it is we play Yogg. Oh, this is actually a hunter we're going up against, isn't it? Oh, that's not the end of the world. That is not the end of the world. Uh, Arcane Root. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, there goes the plan for Lorewalker Cho massive value, huh? I mean, we're still going to probably drop Cho. But... I'm not at all worried right now about doing anything else. We're going to have to Archbishop. I guess. We're going to have to hope. We're going to have to hope that our opponent has some sort of Yashiraj in hand and they're forced to just build a bunch of beasts that end up stinking. Uh, Sully, you're saying you want advice? Should you get a PC or a new phone? Ooh. Um, that's That comes down to a lot of factors. I'd say... You know, where you're at, obviously, with your money and all that. With your working, schooling, bills, all sorts of that fun stuff. I mean, yeah. What's your phone like now? I mean, I don't really use my phone that much. So I upgrade it very, very infrequently. Like, I'm right now, I'd be much more inclined to worry about my PC. But, yeah, that's, that, that's very... There's a lot of factors, I think, that go into to any sort of purchase like that. <laughs> Dango, Dango just comes in new PC 100% of the time. Ooh, look at this Zombeast. Why, thank you very much, Zombeast. I don't mind if I do. Um, should we Shadow Visions right now? Shadow Visions look like it looks like it could be kind of awesome, yeah? I think our opponent wants some Shadow Visions as well. 
They just don't know it yet. Our opponent could take some more draw. They could afford to have some more draw as well. Okay. Bills are fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You got look, we got to look at the positive side of things, right? Bills can be fun cuz then you get to eat and have a warm place to live. And my deck tracker is completely broken. Well, it's tracking my my win rate, which is awful, but it's not tracking individual games, which stinks. Uh what PC do I have? I built it myself. I have a i5-6600. And I have the... I don't even know what my graphics card is right now. It's an NVIDIA GeForce 980-970. Ooh, our opponent wants to give us a flanking strike. That's interesting. The, our opponent, I feel like, played a little bit better. With... They played a little bit better around their... Around Yogg. Than... Uh, oh... Thank you. Then I think some... This is the best opponent, actually. Our opponent knows how Yogg works. Yeah, you want to buff that one up. Flanking strike counters flanking strike? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh, ooh, we still don't get to play Archbishop, I don't think. Or do we just Archie now? Can we just Archbishop now? Yogg is... Yogg is not ready. I don't think we're ready for Yogg. Um... And it's a lot of spells as well, right? Like, this is gonna... We're gonna be able to get a lot of spells, because our opponent only has spells in their deck, other than two minions. You know what? Let's let's do this play now. I don't know how often we're going to actually be able to uh oh. Well, this works out a little bit better than I was hoping. I wasn't even thinking of it that way, but you know what? I'm really happy it worked out. <clears throat> uh Coldgate uh, why not include a Soul Priest for Circle of Healing combo for more control? You know what? I, um... I, because I copy-pasted this deck, that's why. Uh, first of all, that's why I didn't make any changes. The only change was I wanted a one Potion of Madness, because I love Potion of Madness as Priest. I think that card is just so amazing for early game, mid-game and late-game control. And then whenever you run Inner Fire Divine Spirit, you always have the potential to just burst people out. And, yeah, I mean, it totally works, though, Coldgate. I totally think whenever you're running Circle of Healing, you can always throw in a knock and eye. I think it's just, it's, yeah, that's a totally good play. <laughs> Dango, you were trying to type that in, and we did it. Nice. Uh, Jay, Pyro, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay, you're saying, what's the number one top deck for climbing? My number one top deck? Oh, is that a kill command onto the get out of get get out of here? Um, now we go with the Archbishop. Let's go. Now we take that whole deck over here. Uh, I think we're you know we never even start the game. Oh, you're saying what's your number one tip for climbing? Oh, I think it's the top deck for climbing, Jay. The number one tip for climbing. Um, the number one tip is. To not blame RNG. And I think that's very hard in a game like Hearthstone. And I think that's very hard in all card games. If you're playing Magic the Gathering, Eternal. If you're playing... Uh, what, what was someone talking about the other day? Gwent. You're playing Hearthstone. No matter what card game you're playing. I think it's very easy to just look and say, That was RNG. There was nothing I could have done. But I think there is a difference. Like I feel like there's a reason why certain players are always at the top of the ladder. And other players aren't. You know what I mean? Like, there's thousands of people who make it to Legend. 
But I think relatively consistently, there's a small group of people who make it to the high-end legend. And I think there's a reason for that. And... I think that's something that should uh, be acknowledged at the very least. You know what I mean? And I think that's kind of my number one tip for... That would be my number one tip for laddering. Is that... Uh, you know, to be kind of critical of your plays, to think before you do them, and then afterwards to analyze so that you can improve for next time. That's my number one tip. And I'm sure I've already not listened to my own advice multiple times this game by doing all sorts of silly stuff, but you know what? We got a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra draw here. And, whoa, I just hit the mic. I apologize. It's still alive. That's good. And yeah, and now we're going to see how this game goes. Our opponent has infinite uh, minions, but we're only 15 turns away from them starting to hit fatigue. So as long as Yogg can do amazing, amazing things. Also, Yogg is at 10 spells in case anyone was keeping track. And luckily, my deck tracker is. That silence could hurt a little. I was actually hoping for multiple draw. Hey, Wandering Monster, that's a fun spell. I think we might want to Yogg right now. Depending how our opponent trades, actually. Can we afford to go slow here? And try and get even more Yogg value? Let's see what we get. Maybe we can top deck an Ungoro pack. If we top deck an Ungoro pack, we definitely bust it open and then play a Wandering Monster, I think. Like, Wandering Monster is going to counter a lot of things, though, right? I'll even play out the Cabal Talon Priest. I'm not even afraid. Imagine our opponent also runs... Imagine our opponent also runs uh, Dirty Rat, and then we just lose the game. Uh, Dango, accept a variance and improve what you can improve. Your plays. If you play very good all the time, you'll get to Legend 100% of the seasons, like a lot of known Hearthstone players. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Dango, I think that's a much more concise, uh, more clear way to say what I was trying to say, and I appreciate that. And maybe... Maybe this is actually a perfect example of why I'm not making it to Legend 100% of my seasons, and actually so far 0% of my seasons. Wow, that flare stinks for us. Is because maybe I'm not, you know, I'm not able, I wasn't able to say that as clearly and concise as you were able to type it there. And maybe that kind of like, you know, works into the way some of my plays sometimes work as well. Okay, so what's going to happen here is Yogg-Saron's going to go with a Flame Strike, followed by... 10 Jade Lightnings, all to face. Our opponent's face, that is. Uh, let's let's just buff Yogg. Let's go. And we didn't lose, so that's good. Oh, no, 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 Yogg! Yogg! <laughs> oh, Yogg. Oh. You have best. Maybe, I don't know. Oh. Praise Yogg. And you know we have to accept that variance.